everyone and welcome to MXTV. I'm Lee Hogan, joined once again by Brendan Bell and of course some very special people, our very own families. That's right Lee, we're only three days out from Christmas and I can't think of a better way to celebrate it than with the guys out here on your bikes as well guys, having a ball? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, well it's time to get into it. Let's check out our bike review for this week. It's Tara's very own KLX 110. my bike, the Kawasaki KLX110. And as you can see, it looks a bit different to standard. So let me tell you about the parts that we've put on this bike. First off, we started with some Pro Taper handlebars. These handlebars are higher to give me more room. We put Pro Taper grips on it. Dad put a Yoshimira pipe on it and it looks outstanding. We've got Pirelli MX32 tyres on it. Ring Master have done an outstanding job with the sticker kit. Mario at Topline has blown me away with my seat cover. And last of all, we put a gold RK chain on it. When I first saw my bike, I fell in love with it and I couldn't wait to get out there and ride it. When you start your first life, it's hard and then you get used to it. And the power is easy to start and stop. Dad told me the Yoshimira pipe gave me power but I don't really know. <laughs> All I did for my sticky kit was I gave Ringmaster the colours and then they just designed it amazingly. I decided to put number 17 on there because seven's my lucky number and I wanted to do 17 because it's closer to my brother's age. I love my seat cover because it matches with my sticky kit and it's so unique. I may need to make it a bit bigger or taller because I'm going to get taller and I want to still ride it. <laughs> My favourite thing about the bike is the Yoshimira pipe, the sticker kit and of course the seat cover. Now if you want a Kawasaki KLX 110, now is a good time because there's a bonus on. The bonus comes with a gear wrench tool set and a Kawasaki backpack and cap with every new fun bike. Well, that's all today for my Kawasaki KLX 110. Adios, amigo! In today's bike review, we're going to have a look at the 2018 Kawasaki KLX 150BF. Now, this bike is really suited towards the learner rider, and it's a trail bike that's probably more road orientated than trail, but is equally as good on the trail anyway. Now here are the things that you need to know about it. It comes with large wheels, a 21 inch front and an 18 rear wheel. Now this is great if you want to use a bike as a trail bike because you can put knobbies on it specifically for off-road as it comes with a road trail tyre. It comes with disc brakes all round. The engine is a 144cc four-stroke air-cooled engine that is absolutely bulletproof. It comes with a Kian carburetor that ensures smooth throttle response and excellent fuel economy. The headlight features a 35 watt halogen bulb. This will work well at night time when you're getting around on the roads. The front forks are upside down forks with 35mm diameter and a large 175mm travel. And for 2018, they've gone with a gold finish on the top of the fork. The rear shocks a gas shock with a 5 way adjustable preload. Of course it comes with Unitrack suspension. The instrumentation on this bike is very simple. It comes with a speedo, odometer and a fuel gauge. It has a five speed transmission. It comes with hand guards, engine guards and frame guards to give it that real trail feel and also for protection. And one of the outstanding features of the bike is it's priced right and it has a 24 month unlimited kilometre warranty. So you can't go wrong. For the last couple of years, we've done a review on the KLX 150. Now, essentially, the engine hasn't changed, but the looks of the bike have. And I think it looks really smart now. It's got those gold forks, a great sticker kit on it, a little bit snazzier. The other things that really stand out is the brakes. It's got disc brakes, front and rear, and they're powerful enough for this engine, probably too powerful, which is a good thing when you're riding on the road because Sometimes it's not your fault, it's the other driver that gets you in trouble and this thing does stop pretty quickly once you do hit those brakes. The suspension on the 150 works fine. 
If you're just going trail riding, obviously you don't want to do big hits or jumps like that because it's not designed for that. But if you want to just go and have a little bit of a play in the trail out there, certainly works very well. On the road, nice and comfortable. That's the other thing, the ergos are sitting on this bike. You sit very comfortably when you're riding around on the road. And something else that I use quite regularly on this bike, it's got a little backpack at the uh, back of the mudguard. That's really cool for if you want to put a bag on the back, you just oki strap it on, go down the street, get your groceries. With these summer months coming in, I'm going to keep this bike for a few more months and do exactly that. Go out, get a coffee, go down the road, maybe even drive to the beach. So to sum up the KLX 150BF, I really think this bike is geared towards the learner rider that wants to do a little bit of trail riding. Of course, it might be your partner, your girlfriend that could go out trail riding with you, or an older son or daughter that might want to come trail riding with you. This bike's perfect for it. The engine's really mellow, so easy for them to learn on. The suspension is there, the brakes are there. Everything is there for them to have a good time on it. If you're in the market, go out and have a look at the KLX 150BF. Now let's take a closer look at Kawasaki's all new KX450 with Jeremy McGrath. Half the race is won at the start. The all new 2019 Kawasaki KX450 motorcycle is built to win right out of the gate. The new 449cc engine on the KX450 delivers quicker acceleration with increased power across the entire RPM range, giving you the extra drive needed to pull the whole shot. Weight reductions to the engine, the chassis, exhaust, airbox, and swing arm all result in a lightweight bike that delivers increased acceleration and more responsive handling, allowing the riders to drop their lap times. And with the new bodywork, you'll look the part as you lead the way. All right, let's have a closer look at Modal's perfect seat. Now this is for the fussy riders out there, just like me, that like to keep their bike looking like new and looking factory. Modal's perfect seat dries evenly and leaves a protective dry non-greasy sheen, not like other products. The last thing you want on your bike is a slippery seat. Perfect seat cleans your seat and brings it back to looking like new. Now all the manufacturers tell you don't wash your seat when you're washing your bike because it can ruin the foam in your seat over time. So this is a perfect way to clean your seat. Go and get yourself a bottle at your local dealers. Welcome back to MX TV, thanks to Modal. Next up we'll be testing out the all new MX TV project bike, the KX250. So we're down here at Ride Park today testing out the all new project bike. This year I've stepped up to the KX250 and I'll tell you a few things about it. Starting at the top of the bike we've got the pro tape of bars, levers and grips and the donuts. Next up we've got the Ringmaster sticker kit. The attention to detail is always top notch and the quality of the sticker kit is just always amazing. So Polysport has given us a green plastic kit. The plastics being all green, I think it makes the bike look a whole lot better. Chad from Chad's Off-Road has put a set of extra Grok shocks on the bike and they work amazing. All the factories run them and I can see why. And also Chad has resprung the forks and the shock for my weight. So we've got State MX wheels on here that look awesome. And new from State's MX are the titanium foot pegs and they look trick. Steve from Cisco's has supplied us with the HGS Piper muffler. So we also put on Pirelli MX32 mid hards for down here at Ride Park. Mario from Topline has done an amazing job with the seat cover again. So we're using motor oil for all the lubrication in the bike and we're using Power Plus fuel to run the bike. And big thanks to Brian at Hands On Kawasaki for putting the bike together. He's done an amazing job once again. So the height and power for me is much different from jumping from an 85 to a 250 because the 85 power is very just straight on, shifting through the gear straight away. The 250 in the other hand, it's just very torquey, gears run a whole lot longer, you can get yourself out of situations much easier, and it's just a very fun bike to ride. From going from a two stroke to a four stroke, it's a very different sound, it's a much louder sound I think, personally. Chad's done an amazing job with the suspension. He's set it just perfectly for my weight, which is 50 kilos. I mean, I'm very light for how heavy the bike is, so it corners and it handles very well. So the wheels on the new project bike are much bigger. They're actually much easier to ride through bumps and braking bumps and going over jumps. It just handles everything a whole lot better. So what I like most about the bike is the looks. I just love the look. With the green plastics that Polysport supplied, it looks trick. The sticker kit also looks amazing. I mean, Ringmaster always blow me away with what they come up with, and they've done an amazing job this year again. 
One thing I'm looking forward to in the next few months is just riding it more because of how much fun it is to ride. Is your family like my family? Upset, sad, disappointed? We can fix that, and just in time for Christmas too. Turn that frown upside down with some MX TV merchandise. Get Dad a stubby holder, and there's an MX TV shirt for all the family. And hold it on. Welcome back to MX TV, thanks to Pod New Braces setting new standards. Next up, we have a great Christmas present for us kids the Suzuki Quad Sport Z90. reviewing the Suzuki Quad Sport Z90. Let me tell you some of the features of the Z90. It has a 90cc engine. It also has a throttle restrictor. You can adjust the throttle for the speed that you need, which your parents can adjust for when your skills and confidence become better on the bike. It has a key ignition for parental guidance, has a push button start for easy starting, and it has a backup pull starter. It has sturdy foot wells for safe riding. It has independent front suspension. It also has beefy shocks all around. When I first got on the bike, I was very nervous, but then I got the hang of it. It only took me one lap and I felt very confident. The start was very easy. All you need to do is push the button. Dad adjusted the throttle, which made it much easier for me to ride. I was comfortable on the seat because of how soft and cushiony it was. The bike was stable and it made me feel safe. The brakes worked instantly. I really like the sporty look of the bike and the yellow colour. The suspension was very smooth on the ride. I only stopped riding because my dad told me to. I had heaps of fun in the Suzuki Quad Sport Z90. I can't wait to go on it again. In today's product review, we're going to have a look at these things, rear tyres, specifically the Pirelli MX32 mid soft mud tyre and the Pirelli Scorpion MX deep sand and deep mud tyre. So today what we did is we had Chad from Chad's Off-Road come out and change the tyres over for us. Now we started off with the MX32 mid soft mud. Now this tyre was amazing. I was really surprised at how much more grip you got, not only in a straight line, but also in the corners. As soon as the bike buried into that deep lane, it really drove out of it. And in a straight line, it just kept driving and driving. Certainly is a tyre that I would definitely think about if you were a serious racer. This is a fantastic tyre for that real loamy, pre-cut track that's a little bit watered. Now, when we changed over to the MX Soft Sand and Deep Mud, completely different ball game. This is where real deep sand, and I would say a very muddy day, this tyre is gonna come into its own. It's got sort of a, a paddle type knob on it all the way through the middle, and it still retains a little bit of an edge as well. Now I did notice in a straight line, this tyre really hooks up in the deep sand. It is phenomenal. Around the corners, it still hooks up and does really well, but when you get into areas where it's a little bit more hard packed, it sort of isn't a tyre that's designed for that. It really is, if you're out riding in deep sand and deep mud, exactly what it says, this tyre performs fantastic. It's something that I would really have in the trailer for a very muddy day or a very sandy track, and it really does give you great drive from the rear end. Now, Pirelli have told me to run between 12 and 13 PSI in their tyres. That's where they run at their best. Gone are the old days where you just let air out and run it at eight or 10 pounds and you know, spread the tire out so you got more traction. That doesn't work. These tires are now designed to run at a specific PSI. So what did I come away with today's tire testing? Well, something that blew my mind was the Scorpion MX32 mid soft mud. This tire was phenomenal for a track like today with the loam. It drove really well, it turned really well and it really did open my eyes up to say, you need to have the right tyre for the right track conditions. Gone are the days of having one tyre that suits everything and just let some air out. That doesn't happen anymore. If you're a serious racer, go out and get the right rear and front tyre and you really will shave time off your lap times. 
Now let's have a closer look at the Thor Prime Pro gear. It has an athletic cut for a performance orientated fit and feel. It's extremely lightweight to reduce hindrance and fatigue. The material promotes flexibility and durability and it's the only pant on the market with their inner compression short. It really is Prime Pro for the Pro Rider. Now let's take a closer look at Suzuki's RMZ450. Preston Petty, the original pioneer of plastic fenders for MX and off-road motorcycles, has worked closely with Polysport to once again make available the plastics that Preston Petty became renowned for. For Polysport, the goal was always clear. Keep the essence and quality that Preston Petty was known for and let everyone around the world have access to these fantastic plastics. Just as importantly today as it was all those years ago, the plastics are still unbreakable and still carry the guaranteed unbreakable one year warranty. All Preston Petty plastics manufactured by Polysport perfectly replicate the originals, are injection molded and will carry the oval Preston Petty decals as well as the original stamped wording and logos. The detailing is exquisite. Polysport and Preston Petty, the legend continues. Today we're looking at the 2019 KX65 and here's what you need to know about it. For more than 30 years, Kawasaki's smallest KX motocross bike has played a key role in the sport of motocross, providing a race winning platform on which countless national and world champions have began the journey to stardom. Today Kawasaki's KX65 maintains the same successful attributes, including a powerful reliable two-stroke engine, lightweight chassis, disc brakes and long travel suspension. It's got candy lime green coating on the fork caps to make it look factory. The engine has digital ignition which offers ideal timing for better throttle response throughout the rev range. It's got advanced exhaust and transfer ports for awesome power and performance at higher RPM. The six speed transmission offers positive action and rugged reliability with hard chrome finished shift fork ends to resist wear. The high tensile steel frame offers exceptional handling with a reinforced down tube for increased strength and durability. The Unitrack rear suspension offers progressive increased spring and dampening strength as the suspension compresses for a more controlled ride. The KX65 is reliable, bulletproof and one of the most affordable 65s on the market. Now let's see what our guest test rider Lucas Hill has got to say about the KX65. My name's Lucas Hill and we're out here today at Ride Park Vic testing the new KX65. We're having a very windy day. I haven't seen the KX85 but this looks very similar to the 450. The brakes are a little bit softer than 65 KDM but makes it a little less hard to lock up so pretty nice. The clutch is actually quite soft and easy to pull in. I prefer it over the 65 KDM. It's soft and easy and very progressive when you let it out. Bike's really nice and open to move on and very well placed where the controls are. The engine's very progressive, it's six gears so very easy to manipulate. It's quite smooth and again progressive for lunar intermediate and probably would do well on hard pack and soft marbly sliding tracks very progressive but when you're like, stuck in a hole you just dump it and it goes well that's been an absolute cracker of a show hogs i tell you what it's been fantastic having the kids out here enjoying themselves too it sure has christmas all about family time so it's so good to have the kids out yeah. here now, we've only got one more episode to go for the rest of the year. Can't wait to get into that. But guys, if you want to watch this episode once again, all you have to do is go check out the 7 Plus app. Simple as that. Certainly is. And for a late Christmas present, get down to the MXTV website for some MXTV merchandise. MXTV.com.au. There's the plug, Hogs. All right, guys. <laughs> well, 
For all of you out there, make sure you have a very Merry Christmas and I hope you get lots of cool prezzies from Santa. And whatever you do, Don't make sure that you hold, hold it on! on.